Hello, welcome to my ranking of every, or sorry, the top 30 biggest Lego sets of all time. Not counting price, just pieces. And yes, this is going to have, of course, it's going to be a tier list. Uh, hold on a sec, let me just do something real quick. So usually, I don't just go by the letters, but I guess I'll go by this time. S tier means best, A means good, B means okay, C means eh, not that good, and D means bad. All these sets, I don't really know if any of them will go in bad. I'm not too sure. I've, I kind of skimmed the list, but I can't really think of it through memory. There's some, like, big ones I think of. But, like, you know, there's none that, like, really stand out to me. So, and this is kind of like a little bit of a fresh list to me. So, first off, we're starting off with the Marilyn Monroe art. I'm just going to put all art and C because it's just a bunch of studs. I mean, the arts look cool, but, like... For being part of the 30 biggest sets, I think they're kind of a letdown. So I'll put all the arts there, including the Hogwarts one, which I know is coming up. Eiffel Tower, I'll put that in okay. I've never been a really big fan of sets that don't have minifigures. So that's why the Death Star is going to go in C as well. So, I think the Eiffel Tower is a cool building, though, and I actually think they did pretty good with it. And the Death Star, I just don't like the way it looks. So, yeah. Immediate S tier, Wayne, or Joker Manor, what was one of the sets I'm really disappointed I never got, but also I kind of know why I didn't get it because it was extremely expensive and I didn't have that kind of money back then. I kind of have it now, but also I don't really want to spend that because then I'll get even lower and lower. I'm trying to save up for a lot of stuff, so of course you're trying to stay away from big sets like that right now. Ninjago Doc Docks, it's a good set, but I just don't like Ninjago, so I'll put it in B tier. It's a good set. It's it's not bad. I just don't really care for it that much. So it's an okay. Bugatti. I'll put that in B again. Because it's, you know, it's cool. But I don't really care for it. The Lamborghini I actually really liked. This is like one of the only big cards I liked besides the Ford Mustang. So it's definitely going in A tier. Original Death Star. I'll put that in A tier. Pretty good price. Pretty big set. And it was always one of the ones I wanted the most. Actually, I'll put that in S tier. Let's see, the stadium, that's a B. I've always liked stadiums, which is the only reason it's not a C. But, you know, uh, it's just a little boring. But I think the stadium looks good, though, and I've always been a big fan of stadiums. Mainly NFL. This crane is going in... Crap. I just accidentally put the original Death Star at the back of the line. Okay. Well, that crane, that's... I'd say the only bad one so far. Assembly Square, immediate S tier, the only modular on here. Uh, I own it. It's I think it's like the only set, or like one of the only sets I own on here. Which I think it is the only set I own on here. But, yeah, it's a really good set. I love it a lot. I love the build. The minifigures are pretty good. And, honestly, I just think it's really classic and nice. I like the way the modulars look. New Redeath Star, it's going S tier. Don't care about the 100 price difference and, like, the one-year gap. I don't care about all that. It's a good set. Disney Castle. I'll put that in A tier. The only reason it's not in S tier is because I don't care for Disney that much. Like, I just like Marvel and stuff. So, yeah. It's a cool build, but, like, there's nothing I would really do with it if I had it. I'd just display it. But even then, I don't know where I'd display it. So, I probably will never even get that set. A crane. That's going in D. This excavator going in D. Sets look boring. S immediate S tier. The roller coaster is one of my favorite sets that's out right now. Uh, it's a great set. I honestly love it a lot, and I really wish I can get it one day. I'm it's retiring this year. I'm really thinking about buying it on Black Friday. And yeah, if I get it on Black Friday, I'll be extremely happy, but also be like, should I spend three hundred eighty dollars? Let's Black Friday. You, you make dumb decisions, and it's awesome. Let's see. So far, I've gone through 17 sets, which means there's 13 sets to go. Which means, yeah, the Ghostbusters HQ should be coming up soon. Yep. Big Ben. I'll put that in B. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of these types of things, but I think they did good with that one. Immediate C tier. I don't like the arts. Or, like, I don't really like the fact that they're part of the biggest sets ever. I mean, of course they are. It's just a fact, but still. Tower Bridge, same with the others. They did really good with it. I just don't really care for those that much. Immediate S tier Ghostbusters were at top 10 finally. 
uh, one of the my favorite sets ever. I've always wanted it, just never got it though. The Imperial Star Destroyer. I'll put that in A tier, only because like you know I like minifigure sets more. But I actually think they did really good with this, and it's probably one of the best non minifigure like big sets like this on this list. Ninjago City. I honestly l loved that set. I mean, I hate Ninjago as a theme. I don't know why. I just don't like it. I've never cared for the movie. I mean, I liked it. I thought it was kind of funny, but I never like really what I haven't watched it again, and I also haven't bought any sets ever. But the Ninjago Gardens was actually a really good set. It really reminded me of Apocalypse Berg, which I got, which was like basically kind of like the same thing, like the whole city, what it is, like with a bunch of characters from the city. And it's kind of like they're really similar sets. The old UCS Millennium Falcon. Put that in B tier. I just never liked that set. I thought it was extremely boring. I mean, the new one, it's a lot cooler because that's one of the biggest of all time. But that one, I just, I don't know why. It was always really extremely boring to me. And when I, one day, like when I was looking it up, like one of the most expensive sets ever, I was like, seriously? That's one of the most expensive, that's the most expensive set ever? Because at a point, I think it like was like, the most expensive Star Wars or something like that. So it got me triggered because I hated that set. I never liked it since. Diagon Alley, that's... I'll put that in A. I never liked Harry Potter. I think it looks nice, but for also for an alley, it's kind of thick. So, honestly, I kind of wish it was a little skinnier. That would lower the price, but also would lower on this list. The new Ninjago City, B. Um, it, I just don't like it as much as the other Ninjago City. The Taj Mahal, I believe that's its name. Um, Yeah, I think it's Taj Mahal. Pretty good set. I'll put that in... Ooh, I'll put that in A tier. This is like the only one of those like big ones that's going to go above that. With the uh, Imperial Star Destroyer, but that's also Star Wars and stuff, so... Harry Potter Castle. Boring to me. Absolutely boring. Okay, I'm going to put the Death Star in really quick. That's B. And, yeah. that That's all I really have to say about it. It's just boring. Finally, we're at the two biggest sets of all time, and I'm I'm not. It's either S or A. The only reason it would be A is because I'm not the biggest fan of Star Wars. I like it, I like the movies. I own some sets, probably about like ten or so, throughout the years, but I don't own any sets that are like bigger, like UCS at all. The biggest set I own is a hundred thirty dollars, and that's the Razor Crest. Then I own the. Sail Barge and the Jawa's Hut. And then, yeah, those are like the only big Star Wars sets I own. I don't own any, own any others, and there's like a ton of them. So, whoops. Um, but honestly, this set's pretty cool. And I think I'll have to give it an S tier. I mean, like, I just, I don't want to, but it's just too cool. And the Roman Colosseum, same thing. I've always liked Roman Colosseum, They're like Romans and stuff like that. And, like, war, and not, like, war, but, like, old type of, like, wars and stuff. Like, where, like, fought in coliseums and stuff. So, that was pretty cool. I always used to like that. I've seen exhibits and stuff before at museums, and it's always interesting. So, yeah, that's why it's going in S tier. Also, it's the biggest Lego set ever, which is awesome. So, yeah, let's screenshot that. And then you see the top 30 sets of all time put onto a tier list. In the worst tier, we have, like, an excavator, a crane, and, like, one of those, uh, oh, yeah, a wrecking ball thing, and then a crane, or no, no, that's a crane. I don't know what the terminology for these things, but, yeah, I think it's the excavator, whatever that is, the, the saw, I don't know what that is, a, a, a crane and the scoop thing, I don't know what they're called, but, yeah, those are kind of not cool. Then all the arts and the Death Star, they're all in C tier. Then in B tier, it's the Eiffel Tower, Hogwarts, the Bugatti, Ninjago City Part 2, the Tower Bridge, the Old Millennium Falcon UCS, Big Ben, the, the Stadium, forgot the name of it, it's like, it has a T in it, that's all I know, Ninjago Docks. And then in A tier, we have the Lamborghini. Diagon Alley, Disney Castle, 
uh, the old ninja, or the new Ninjago City, or sorry, yeah, yeah, the old one, the UCS Imperial Star Destroyer in the ta or no, the Taj Mahal, and then in the S tier, which are my favorite biggest sets of all time, Joker, Manor, Roman Coliseum, the new UCS Millennium Falcon, the old Death Star, the new Death Star Assembly Square, the Ghostbusters HQ, and the Roller Coaster. I feel like this is kind of, I feel like this is a perfect list for me. Other people, they might get triggered that, like, some of the UCS Star Wars sets are kind of low. Or some people might get triggered the arts are low, or, like, the Hogwarts, I think it sucks. But, yeah, honestly, I think this is a pretty fair list. A lot of people might not agree with it, but I do. Hopefully, you guys like my video. Peace out. Goodbye. Hopefully, you guys make your own tier list from inspiration from this video or video, and yeah, make sure to at me, or not, like, send me a link in my comments if you would end up making one of these yourself, for the 30 biggest Lego sets of all time put on a tier list, and yeah, see you guys next time, peace out, goodbye.